All right, I'm on hole number six of the American Classic Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the rookie division. Hole number six. Uh, now, my teammate sent me a, uh, because they've slightly redesigned this. And what they've done for the redesign, I'm not sure, I'm not sure wh what beyond on this side of the line they've redesigned. And I'm not, and I can't remember, like I'll have to go back and watch videos to see where this sand trap was. But it seemed like this sand trap was bigger and the green was a lot bigger. It filled this area and if you hit down here on the bottom of the green there was a hill going up and if you tried to make that you couldn't make it. So what they've done is they've, they've actually made the green a lot smaller. And the other thing that they've done too is this transitional line over here, this this line for the fringe and the, and the fairway and the sand, it used to be at a, at a little tighter. And so if, if you were out here, about right in this area right here, when you came in where the flagpole was, you had to, you had, it was hard to get on the putting surface and put enough backspin on it to get on there. In order to keep the, the line straight, you had to start off on the fringe. Or if you were back a little bit further, you'd have to start off, you know, you may be able to start off on the fringe, you maybe have to start off on the fairway. If you get out here in the open, it cleared it over so you had a straight shot to the green. That it seems like this window for the straight shot's a lot bigger than it used to be. But a buddy of mine sent me a video with a kingmaker and a quarterback, and they went through the gap with overpower and were and they were putting <laughs> for eagle. And so I'm gonna try that shot. I want to see what that shot looks like because of the way that they've shortened this up before you didn't dare do that because what would happen is is that you would end up on the green but you would end up on this lower part of the green down here that's no longer here and you couldn't get up so now that they've done this where we still have more fairway to run up to to get to the green i'm going to try that shot i'm going to re-explore that shot so i'm definitely going to have to buy some kingmakers I'm gonna bring I still think I'm gonna bring a quarterback. We'll see how it looks out there. Hold on one second. Alright, I went back. It's an extra mile. Oh that's a change from going from an accurate hole to let's see what we can do. Let's see what this shot looks like. The reason that I know on the old green <laughs> that you could get stuck is because we try these shots all the time to try and get up there. And in a super rare occasion something would happen and you could you could get up on the side. Take your kingmaker. Use a whole lot of overpower. I think if I just leave the wind in it right there and don't do anything, it's going to end up up there. I'm going to check that out. I'll put just a little just to make sure it goes in that direction. And it great to the left. So with a little bit of overpower there. Definitely looking at a putt. So they've opened that corner up. And where I'm at now, I would have been on the lower part of that green. Just wondering if you hit that with the big top or if you couldn't just run it all the way up there. I had a, a pretty good amount of room down there on that corner. Now, uh, big topper hits 20 yards less than an extra mile, I think just base or a good 15 to 18. So it may not be able to get long enough to get down in there, but 
when I come back around on this hole, I'm going to try it a different way. Okay, so there's my max rapier out there, so I'm in a good wind adjustment area. going with me so I'm gonna just kinda leave it right there just trying to hit perfect oh, I hit it great great to the left and went great to the left You know the deal is, is I'm in the wrong spot. Very nicely done by our opponent. Very nice. Nice shot. All right, that was hole number six of the American Classic Tournament. That was uh, very disappointing. I worked, I got, so let's go back and look at that hole real quick because that's, that's a different play, way of playing it and that was just a piss poor shot on my on my part. So normally I come out here and I'm in minimum short iron and I'm and I feel like I, you know, if I can hit it perfect I'm there, but you can hit a putt great and still be there. So trying to get up there to get just a little bit more distance than I did. I left the I left the wind in. And I put just a little bit of overpower on it. Conversely, if you had them in your bag, you could probably bring a four power ball and wouldn't have to do any kind of overpower at all. And I had a two side spin ball there. Now I brought a three side spin ball and I used all the side spin. So you could bring a four power ball with three side spin and you probably wouldn't have to put any overpower on. You could just hit that shot. And it looked like there was plenty of room down there for great to the left or the right. So I'm going to continue to explore that shot because while I like, hey, traditionally the way this hole is played in the past because of the way the green was, if you were down here in your short iron range, you could get an eagle. And I've made a lot of eagles on this hole. I've, be, I've won a lot of one-on-ones. But if they've redesigned the hole and there's a better way to play it, then we have to explore that way because you know that people out there in our brackets are playing it that way and we can't let them have a shot up on us just because they're playing a hole better than us. All right, that was hole number six of the American Classic Tournament in the opening round of the week, opening round of the Ricky Division. <laughs> Thanks for watching.